Hi everybody and welcome to Stories and Songs with me, Danielle, the Enchanted Nanny. So we are live on Instagram right now and really, really excitingly, we're also live on YouTube, which seems marvellously grown up. <laughs> so let's start our songs and sound session with the song that we always start with. And as always, there is a big clue behind me that tells you what song we're starting with. You're right, lots of lovely sparkly stars. So show me your twinkly hands and let's sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star how I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are well done everybody. Now, today is Wonderful Wednesday and we're going to sing our Days of the Week song. So listen out for today's day. Today is Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday too. Every day's a happy day, every day's a magic day, each day's a different day and every day is new. Hello to everybody today. I need to say a very, very big hello today to everyone at Calm and Bright Sleep. A big hello in particular to Ted, to Senna, to Finn and to Tilly. And I will be saying lots of big hellos throughout this video. But before we do that, we are going to be learning today's phonics sound. So, we learn our sounds to help us to learn to read. And before we can do that, we need to make sure that we have three special things. They are, can you remember, our looking eyes. Can you show me your looking eyes? Blink, blink, blink. Well done. Our listening ears. And most importantly, our talking mouth. So open your mouth up wide. Ah! And make it really tiny. Well done. Now take that chewy toffee, pop it into your mouth and give me a very big chew. And a very wide chew, chew, chew. And a very narrow chew. <laughs> well done. Now the most important thing, and it's all to do with our mouths, is that when we're doing our phonics, we don't have anything covering them. So even if we're sat like this, we can't cover... Can, can you hear me when I do this? You can't hear me very well, can you? We have to make sure that our mouths are clear and open. Right then, let's get started. I'm going to do a very, very quick speed sounds with you to see which sounds you remember. So we've only learned two so far, so let's have a look. I'm going to hold them up to you. I'll show you the clue and then I will remind you what the sounds are. Here we go. Well done, here's your clue. Mountain. Mmm. Great job, everybody. And then the one we learnt yesterday. Fantastic, here's your clue, just in case. Ah, ah, apple. Fantastic, well done everybody. Now today we are going to be learning a brand new sound. Would you like to have a go at guessing what the sound might be? All right, well it's at the beginning of all of these words. So can you point to where you put your socks? In your feet, well done, on your feet. Socks. Can you show me a snake? Well done. Now with your other hand and say snake. 
great job. Okay, now let's play a little game of Simon Says. Simon Says, point to your socks. Well done. Simon Says, sit down. Great job. Simon Says, stand up. Well done. Simon says, point to the sky. Now point to the sun. Oh, I got you. I didn't say, Simon says. <laughs> okay, listen out for more of those sounds. So this sound is at the start of sun and socks and snake and sky. You've got it, well done. The sound is s. So let's have a look at the card with the sound on it. Here we go. Can you see it? It even looks like a snake. My turn, s, your turn. My turn, s, your turn. My turn. S your turn. Even quieter. My turn. S your turn. Now really loud. My turn. S your turn. Great job. Fantastic. Let's have a look at the picture on the back of this card. Can you see it's a very slidey, slippery snake? Can you see it? There we are. Well done. My turn. S snake. Your turn. My turn. S snake. Your turn. My turn. S your turn. Great job. Now really say it for me. I want to hear you. My turn. S your turn. Great job. It's a stretchy sound. Let's have a go at writing the sound. S so here we go, let's turn it around and I'm going to use my lovely phonics board so that you can see. Ooh, lots of s words today. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. We're going to start at the top of the snake, just like this. And we're going to creep down the snake's body. Let's try that again. We start at his head, we curl around his neck, over and flip. Let's try again, and this time I am going to say the sound s as I'm writing. You could have a go at doing that with your phonics finger. And one more time. Wow, you guys are amazing. Give yourselves a marshmallow clap where you pretend that you have a big sticky marshmallow in between your hands. Here we go. Great job. Now that we've learnt some sounds that can be put together to make words, we're going to have a little go at doing some blending. Blending is when you look at sounds together and you put them together to read words. So, this is my lovely phonics board. Now, I use something called sound buttons, and when I press them, that's when we say the sounds. So, shall we have a go? When I press this sound, you have to say it, and we'll do it together. Ah. Ah. Oh, look, it works. Well done, everybody. Let's say these words now and we'll try and read what the word says. We'll say the sounds and see if we can read the word. Ah, mmm, ah, mmm, am, am. That's how we blend the word. 
Now, if you're using cards at home, you can start with the sounds spaced out. And as you start to blend the word, you can bring them closer together. And that really, really helps give a visual, a visual of bringing those sounds together to read the word. Let's try a new word, but this time we're going to use today's letter as well. Now, this word is a name. Let's see if we can read it. Sam. Sam. A big hello to anybody who's watching who's called Sam. Now, grown-ups, don't worry too much if we're learning things that are like names. We could even read nonsense word at this point. It's about getting those sounds to blend together. Well done, everybody, for having a big go. And the more sounds that we learn together, the bigger the variety of words that we will be able to practice together. Okay, now everybody has done so super well at learning their sounds today that I think it's time for a song. Now, listen out because lots of these songs have a s in them somewhere, mostly at the beginning. Are you ready to listen out for all of those songs? Now, before I start singing, I want to say a really big hello to lots of you. I want to say a very big hello to Daisy. Hello to Sullivan and Chloe. Bella, who else am I saying hello to? Hi, Otil. Hi, how are you? A big hello to Alfie and Arthur. A huge hello to Magnus. And hello to... Uh, Cyrus, hello Cyrus, and to Grace. Oh Grace, do you really love my dress? This is my favourite dress, I'm going to show it to you. Can you see, it's got, she's a bit upside down, let's show you this one. Can you see it's got Alice in Wonderland? And she's holding, she's playing croquet, isn't she? And I think that's a flamingo there, and we've got playing cards and little cups. This is one of my favourite dresses, so thank you, Grace. That's very kind of you. A big hello to Isla, and if you're watching on YouTube, you can comment as well, and I will say a very big hello to you. Right, let's get singing now. We're going to sing a song called The Sun Has Got His Hat On, and you know, it's so sunny today that I think the sun does have his hat on, so let's all put our hats on and point up to that lovely sun, give yourselves a big stretch. Well done. Now, let's sing. The sun has got his hat on, hip 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 hooray. The sun has got his hat on and we're coming out to play. Now we'll all be happy, hip 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 hooray. The sun has got his hat on and he's coming out to play. He's been roasting peanuts out in Timbuktu. Now he's coming back to do the same to you. So jump into your sun bath, hip 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 hooray. The sun has got his hat on and he's coming out to play. Who has been having a lovely time looking out or even in their garden at the lovely warm sun? It's wonderful. And while I've been looking out, I've been seeing some other little creatures, just like our friend, the Incy Wincy Spider. So can you show me how to make an Incy Wincy Spider? So first of all, we are going to stick out our thumb just like that. And then we're going to stick out our pointy index finger. We're going to smush them together like that to make a line. Then we're going to stick up our other pointy index finger and our other thumb. We're going to twist them together and keep twisting to make our spider climb. The incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So the incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. The incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. 
Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So the incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Well done. And if you were finding it tricky to be the incy wincy spider like this, you can always put your hands together just like that and stick out four of your fingers on this side and four on this side. And that makes eight. And then suddenly you look much more spiderific. <laughs> Let's sing another song. Now, this is one of my absolute favourites, and I'm so glad that it's got a s sound in it. It's five little men in a flying saucer. Here we are, and this today is especially dedicated to Cecily, who asked to sing this song. So here's our lovely sparkly saucer, and let's meet our little men. One, two, three. Oh, now turn around, little one, don't be shy. Four, five. Here are our five little men. Now, let's see who these are going to fly over today. Five little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Whoosh! Right over Thea's house. There he goes. One, two, three, four. Four little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Whoosh! Right over Ophelia's house. Woo! There he goes. One, two, three. Three little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Whoosh! Right over Arabella's house. <laughs> and Arabella's been in the sunshine, so maybe she'll be able to sing along with lots of her sounds. One, two. Two little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Whoosh! Right over Cecily's house. One little man in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. He looked up and down and he did like the town, so he decided to stay. Hooray! And I hope you enjoy your time here on Earth, little one. <laughs> There we go. Well done to everybody who sang that lovely song. Can you give yourselves a big old lollipop clap? Lolly, 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 pop. Lolly, 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 pop. Lolly, 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 pop. You're all amazing. Now, we're going to sing one of my other favourite songs. Now, it's going to be called Head, Shoulders, Knees and Toes. This one is a bit of a challenge because you have to remember which words we're not using anymore. Are you up for the challenge? Also, you're going to just have to believe me. I promise I am pointing to my toes. You just can't see them. You'll have to imagine them. They're like hobbit feet. <laughs> okay, here we go. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Now, we are not going to sing heads, so are you ready? Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, you're getting good. But this time, we're not going to say heads or shoulders. Are you joining in too, Bella? Here we go. Knees and toes, knees and toes. 
knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Knees and toes, knees and toes. Well done, it's getting tricky. You almost got me out just then. Now we're not going to say heads or shoulders or knees. Here we go. And toes and toes. And toes and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose. And toes and toes. Oh my goodness, what happens next? This time we don't say heads or shoulders or knees or toes. Here we go. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Well done everybody, let's bring them all back in. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job everybody, you did so well. I need a little drink, my goodness that was hard work. Everyone grab some water. Mm. Yum. It's really important that we drink water to stay hydrated and well. And it's also very good for our voices when we're singing. Okay, so now we're going to sing a song to help us to remember our sound today. It's called The Snake is in the Grass. And you can join in with the actions. The snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass, the sun is in the sky, the sun is in the sky. The sun is in the sky, the soap is in the sink, the soap is in the sink. The soap is in the sink, the snake is in the grass, the snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. Well done, everybody. Now, everybody likes to hear about an activity to do that helps your little ones to learn their sounds. And the best one for learning the s sound I have found in my many years of teaching is making some squiggly spaghetti. It doesn't have to be anything special, but if you'd like it to be rainbow colored, once it's drained, cooked and drained, you can add some food coloring and make whatever colors you like. But that squiggly spaghetti is brilliant when it's put on a tray or a plate for making sounds, but also for creating shapes individually. And it's wonderful for creating that lovely shape. So your activity for today is fun with squiggly spaghetti. And if you make enough and leave it for a little while, then you can eat it too. <laughs> but it's brilliantly fun. And if your little one is learning phonics and they have a younger sibling, then it's wonderful for them both to do together. So there you are, a little activity that might hopefully keep them occupied for long enough for you to have a cup of tea. Let's sing another song. Now, this time we're going to sing Miss Polly Had a Dolly, who was sick, sick, sick. I love the use of our sound today. So carry your dolly, or you can pretend we're going to sing Miss Polly Had a Dolly. Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. So she rang for the doctor to be quick, quick, quick. He got to the door with his bag and his cap, and he knocked on the door with a rat a tat tat. The doctor looked at Dolly and he shook his head and he said, Miss Polly put her straight to bed. He looked in his bag for a pill, pill, pill. I'll be back in the morning if the Dolly's still ill. And you know what? I think she made a super speedy recovery and she's all better. Well done, Miss Polly. Now, for our s sound, we're going to sing another song. Who can guess what we're going to be singing? Who can see what these are? 
We'll give you another minute to guess. What song is this one? <gasps> Five green and speckled frogs. Here we go. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. One, two, three, four. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. One, two, three. Well done. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. One, two. Well done. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. Glub, glub. One. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were no green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. There were none. Let me show you what number that is. When there are none, that means there's zero. My turn, zero, your turn. It means none or nothing. Well done, everybody. Now, some wonderful stories for teaching the sound s are The Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson and also Snail on the Whale, also by Julia Donaldson. So those are a couple to go and look at. If you find some other wonderful stories with the s sound running through, then do let me know and I will add them to my story list. Now, I have had some song requests from all of you. So I'm going to try and get through as many as I can in the next three minutes. Here we go. So the first one has been requested and it's called Daisy Daisy. So, and that was requested by Forrest. Hi, Forrest. Let's sing. It's called Daisy Daisy. It's the first time we've sung this song, but I love it. Are you ready, Bella? Have you heard this one before? Here we go. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage, I can't afford a carriage. But you'll look sweet upon a seat of a bicycle made for two. I think we could make some lovely props for that, Bella, do you? And that was just for you, Forrest. Next up, we've got Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and that was requested by Finn. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. The next song that has been requested is from Oliver. And Oliver has asked for us to sing Wind the Bobbin Up, which I will float right into There's a Dinosaur. So here we go. Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. 
point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Put your hands upon your knees. There's a dinosaur, there's a dinosaur. Where, where, run, run, run. There's another one, there's another one. Look, look, run, run, run. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Say, Mr. Dinosaur, you can't catch me! Well done, everybody. You are all absolutely fantastic, and I've loved singing with you today. Now, we are going to sing the song that we always finish with. Our sound for today was s, my turn, s, your turn. Can you listen out for s in the alphabet? S, well done. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my A B C. Next time, won't you sing with me? I am Danielle, the Enchanted Nanny, and I will be singing with you every day at two thirty p.m. and on my Instagram page at eleven a.m. It's been super lovely singing with you today and I can't wait to see you all tomorrow. So goodbye everyone on YouTube. And everyone on Instagram,